today I'm going to upgrade my medicine cabinet. It's one of those simple ones with a lack of charm and style. It's gonna be a quick and easy cabinet makeover rather than just replacing it with a new one. It's not in bad shape, it just needs some enhancement and a touch of glam. And here it is. I think I achieved that. It was a fun, easy and a budget friendly makeover. You can upgrade your medicine cabinet as well even if you are not handy. Let me show you how I turn my boring medicine cabinet into this beauty with some simple steps. First I removed the cabinet door and painted the inside with Sherwin Williams Black Magic Black Paint. It's a beautiful black. In fact I painted my old tiles with this paint last week and it turned out amazing. Just a week ago I had an outdated ugly bathroom and now I have this. I put the link for you for that video in the description below. This is the first coat, here is the second coat. I think paint made a huge difference and enhanced the look significantly but I wanted to add some extra zinc to it. So I ordered some sparkly glittery stuff online. These are self adhesive sticker sheets. This one was in crystal yellow. Here is a champagne gold. This one is golden, too gold for my taste. Let's look at this. Crystal yellow, my favorite among these three. It's got tons of crystals on it. It's supposed to have 12,000 pieces of crystals. About nine by eight inches. Pretty color though. You can cut them in any shape you like and they cost about $10 a sheet. These are glass mirror mosaic tiles. There are five of them in the package and each one is about 12 inches long and they cost me about again $10 a package. This is in gold. I also ordered in silver. Here's another one. Acrylic mirror wall stickers. It's got a nice geometric pattern. This is in gold. I also have it in silver. I decided to use these inside the cabinet. They are more cost effective. There are 20 or 4 of them in a package and they cost about $10 a pack again. And they also have a larger size. I'm going to return whatever I don't use. I just order them to see in place. But I had a little problem removing the top protective coat. Backing paper was also hard to remove but not as bad. I used tweezers to remove the backing paper. If you liked the video, please give it a like and share it with your friends who might be in need of a medicine cabinet facelift. There can be many ways to put these. I decided to do it this way. I found that using my utility knife to lift up the corners was useful, but I was very careful not to scratch the mirror. And here it is, all done inside my cabinet looking good. It was time to pay some attention to the cabinet door. I had these pieces of wood left over from an old project. You might see me using them every now and then. I cut them to right length to make a frame around the mirror. First I glued them together with tight bond wood glue. I didn't want to miter the corners. I thought this would look more modern and also my future vanity has the same style that is coming up next week. Made sure corners were square. And then finally I put clamps and let them sit for several hours to cure. Once the frame was cured I attached it to the front frame of the mirror using again the wood glue and some screws. I don't have that video here. For some reason my camera didn't record that part. This is the back of the mirror. I painted that with the same black paint, two coats. I used Watco Danish oil in dark walnut to stain the unfinished part of my wood frame. I was gonna leave it like that but I had so many leftover mirror pieces I decided to use them up. I still have four more pieces left by the way. This time I tried a different pattern. I picked up these cute cabinet pulls from Hobby Lobby. They are made of piece of marble, nice and heavy. I also have the round one but I decided on the rectangular one. If you need something different, more artistic, try Hobby Lobby if you have any in your area. They have wide range of selections that you can't get that in a hardware store. This whole section is dedicated to cabinet knobs and pulls, including the other side of the aisle. I'm not related or affiliate of this store, by the way. It's just for your information. This is cute. 
Look at this wide range of selections. It's incredible. And this is the one I picked. Also this one. And here, this one, I was thinking about it because my bathroom is black and white. But then I thought it would be too much probably. So yeah, I highly recommend this section if you are in need of some uh, nice artistic stuff. And the last thing I want to do to this poor door is that I want to add some disco mirrors inside the frame. It's going to be a nice light reflector and it will add some glam to the bathroom. Just in case you forgot to do so, it's still not too late to like or share this video. Here it is! It turned out very nice. I really like it a lot. What a difference it made in the bathroom. Wow! From an ugly basic medicine cabinet to this beauty with a tiny budget. I think I spent about $23 and plus the paint and wood but I already had them but if I were to buy them I would have spent another $25 $30 probably still very good here is my little tiny signature I can always cover up this little imperfection with a mirror sticker if I want to. Something like this. It could be a nice design, but I guess that would be too much for me. Let's look at the inside now. What a difference a paint and some stickers made. Literally, there is nothing else to it. Just paint and stickers. Wow, right? Let me just remind you how it was before. Thank you for visiting my channel. I am in the middle of upgrading my outdated bathroom on a tiny budget. Next week I am going to put a new vanity. Don't forget to visit back. See you guys soon. Bye.